Welcome to video guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So yes then, today we are predicting Premier League game week 14. That is right guys, 14 games in right now, 14 weeks into the Premier League season and there's only, I think there's only three matches left until the team, until the league breaks up for the World Cup. Very, very, very exciting right there. So yes then guys, how are you doing anyway? How are you doing today? Let me know down below in the comments. Before we get started though, your boy got two predictions right last weekend. So yeah, pretty pleased about that. Pretty damn pleased about that. So yes then guys, without further ado, let's get straight in with today's video. And welcome to game week, Premier League 14. Kicking us off this weekend is a big game. Leicester City versus Man City. Leicester are playing at home this weekend at the King Power Stadium versus Man City. Leicester are doing much better now. They've got they've played five, four clean sheets. Great, great turnaround for Leicester. Maybe top did the right thing and not sacking Rogers. So yes, then guys, there we go. Danny Ward with a four clean sh clean sheets in five games. So so that takes him second place, guys, in the league this season to keep the most clean sheets behind. Edison because Man City is goalkeeper. So yeah, big game for both goalkeepers this weekend. So yeah, very, very exciting. It's obviously your boy as a Leicester fan. So the good news is I've heard that Haaland might be injured. He might not be playing against Leicester. And you know what? That is such a huge boost for Leicester right there. But I do have Man City to win this game though. So that is right. I think Man City, without Haaland, will win 3-1. That is right, guys. Man City to beat Leicester 3-1. Game we have is Bournemouth versus Spurs. Bournemouth were recently on a good form streak, but they've actually lost at the weekend. So could their good form be coming to an end? But right now they've got Spurs. So um, Spurs are not done well the past couple of games. You know what they um, Spurs last five games they have only won two and lost three. So right now Spurs are on a two-game loss streak. So um, yeah. Not, not looking good for Spurs right now. Um, I thought they would keep competing for the league, but there, there isn't too many games right now. So I think their title hopes are slowly fading. So we should find out that plays out. But yes, I do have a score prediction. Let's get on this sheet there right here. And I do think Spurs will, will come back on top and win this game because Bournemouth lost their last game. So that could play a big part in that season for them. So on this piece of paper right here, guys, I've got Spurs to win. That is right. Spurs to win this game 2-0. Next game we have right here, guys, is Brentford versus Wolves. Brentford lost at the weekend 4 0 to um, Aston Villa, and also Wolves lost to Leicester City 4 0. So both teams coming away with the loss. Wolves are really struggling this season, unfortunately. I thought they'll come out on top this season and do quite well, but they're not. Wolves have not performed recently, so um, Wolves are in trouble, guys. I say it right now, Wolves are in trouble. So. We should find out how that season plans out, but apparently they can't sign another manager because obviously they've turned, they've, they've had two managers turn them down in the last couple of weeks. So apparently they're going to stick with their caretaker manager for this season. But I don't know, we'll find out that. I think after the World Cup, I think a few managers will, will become available. So we should find out how that plays out. But Brentford on the other hand lost 4 0. Quite shocking. I do think Brentford will come out and top this game though, get some revenge on their latest performance. So that's on. This piece of paper right here, I've got Brentford to win. That is right, 2-1, guys. Brentford versus Wolves will end as a 2-1 win for Brentford. Next game we have is Brighton versus Chelsea. Brighton's last five games, played five, lost three, drew two. Not great at all. Chelsea, on the other hand, have played five, won three, drew two. So, Graham Potter leaving Brighton. Could be a massive, massive loss. That could really hurt their season. But yeah, say, two points out of five games. Not great at all, considering they, they did so well to start the season. They get to Chelsea, and obviously Graham Potter is there. So, Graham Potter, surely, <laughs> don't want to hurt them too much. Surely, surely Graham Potter will have some sympathy for Brighton. But we should find out. But yeah, this is Graham Potter versus his ex-team. So, I'm expecting Graham Potter to get a few boos around the stadium on this game so but that is right there guys but do you have Chelsea to win this game that's right guys on this piece of paper right here I've got Chelsea to win 1-0 that is right Chelsea to beat Brighton 1 goddamn 0 
Next game we have is Palace versus Southampton. And that is right, Palace are 13th in the league and Southampton are currently 60. You know what, Vera is a good manager and uh, yeah, I think Palace will be safe this season. They'll probably finish mid-table, bottom half of the table, but probably about 12th, 11th or something like that. This game right here could be one of the most boring game of this weekend, that is right. I've got them to draw guys, Palace versus Southampton to draw one all. that is right, one all, guys. Next game we have is Newcastle. Versus Aston Villa. That is right, guys. Newcastle are having a great, great, great season right now. They are currently fourth in the goddamn league. They have played five, won four, drew one. They are looking very, very good. That Amaron, Amaron is looking amazing. You know, he's, uh, I swear, he got like four goals in the last five games. So Amaron is really, really looking the part right now. This Newcastle team are looking very, very confident. But on the other hand, they recently sacked Gerrard. After that sacking, they beat Brentford 4-0. So maybe, maybe Gerrard's sacking was probably for the best, and now they have. So yes then, now Villa have Emery in charge. So he has some unfinished business here in the Premier League. So we shall find out how he does. But overall, I think that is quite a good little investment. So we shall find out how he does it with Aston Villa. But yeah. Guys, this game could only go one way for me though. Newcastle are looking amazing right now. They're looking unstoppable right now. They've played five, won four, drew one. So they're on great form. So on that reason alone, I'm going to say Newcastle to win this game. That is right. Newcastle to win 2-0. Next game we have, guys, is Fulham versus Everton. That is right, Fulham are right now 7th in the league and Everton are 12th in the league. So, there's a 5 points difference between these teams. You know what, both teams have had quite a good season already, you know. Uh, Fulham have really shocked me this season. They've already, basically they've already got the same points nearly as when they got relegated last time they were in the Prem. So, overall, a very good season from them. They've really learnt how to survive and hopefully they survive in the Prem for a while. So, Fulham are definitely a Premier League side, so be interesting to find out, man. Be interesting. So, yes, Everton, on the other hand, won their recent game and that ended a three game loss streak. So, yeah, both teams have won the last game, so this could be a very good game. But I do have a draw on this on this sheet right here. I do have a draw, that is right, guys. Fulham and Everton to draw two all. Next game we have is Liverpool versus Leeds. That is right guys, how the heck, how the heck did Liverpool lose to Nottingham Forest? That is right man, Liverpool lost to Nottingham Forest and what a win for them by the way. But anyway, Liverpool are really weird in the league this season. Um, Liverpool are right now 8th in the league, so not, not a great season for them. They actually lost 3 games this season. Leeds on the other hand are currently on a 4 game loss streak, so that could be 5 at the end of this game. But, yeah, not great for the Leeds at all, they're in the relegation zone right now, four, four games lost streak, so yeah, not great at all, but I do think Liverpool will win this game and put another loss on Leeds, Leeds form, so Leeds do have a habit of letting too many goals in, so just on that reason alone, I think Liverpool will win this game 2-1 guys, that is right, Liverpool to win this game 2-1. Next game we have is Arsenal versus not on Gum Forest. Arsenal drew at the weekend to Southampton 1 0, and uh, they're only two points ahead of Man City right now. So Man City are slowly, slowly catching them up. Um, but yeah, Forest on the other hand beat Liverpool 1 0. So, so their confidence should be sky high right now. So, but I do think, I do think Arsenal will come out on top and try and put pressure on Man City because obviously Man City right now are catching Arsenal up slowly. They, they were five points behind. They're coming right now only two points behind, so that's right. I think this game, though, I think this game will only go one way. On this piece of paper right here, I've got, uh, I've got Arsenal to win this game 3-1. That is right, guys. Arsenal versus Nottingham Forest. That is right, guys. Arsenal versus Nottingham Forest will end as a 3-1 win for Arsenal. Our last game of the weekend is Man United versus West Ham. That is right. Sixth versus tenth. West Ham, on the other hand, are looking better. They are coming tenth in the league right now, so mid mid-table for them, so they are looking better. So, I just think this game will end in a bit of a shock. I think West Ham will do Man United, that is why I think West Ham 
will beat Man United. Um, and that's right, guys. West Ham to win this game 1 0. Bit of a shocker right there, but there you go. There we have it. West Ham to win 1 0. So then, guys, there we have it right now. That, that is my Premier League game week 14 Premier League predictions done. Let me know down below in the comments if you agree with any of my predictions this week. And yet, yeah, it's another week of Premier League football. There's only three more games. I think there's only three more games left until the league breaks up for the World Cup. So yeah, very, very, very exciting for that, man. It's going to be a good month of football coming up. So trust me about that. But yes, then, guys, if you like to video, guys, hit that like button, subscribe button, not over there. Listen to me right now. If you guys want any more videos on this channel, instead of just football videos, let me know down below in the comments. Because you know what? The boy does have a few ideas coming up soon so let me down below in the kind of comments if you want any more videos that is right guys anyway guys thank you for watching today's video see you next week for a brand new video good good and good night ah!